Yeah. And I, I want to be clear with everyone. This isn't, as an example, this isn't wow PVP flagging. This isn't like you in a zone and you're toggling a thing saying, hi, yeah. I would like to PVP. Mm -hmm. Would you like to PVP? I would, I would also like to PVP. How about you raise your PVP flag and then we can fight? No, this is, I'm toggling, I'm, I'm making a choice to go rogue, and once I do, I don't care about anyone else. I will, sh you know, it, all the rest of the stuff stays the same. It's about declaring your intent. You yes, know? Okay. exactly. So it's not a, I have it on, and I can PVP with other people that have it on, and you don't have it on. It's, it's just we're giving you one second to be aware that someone around you. We're giving you more signs and feedback that someone around you is going rogue, but you still have to keep your eyes open. You still need to pay attention. If someone walks up to your extraction, be, you know, be cautious. And, you know, we're, other, other balance changes are going in to help you prepare. You know, if you see them drop a turret, like maybe I'll do something to make myself immune to status effects, you know? So there's just a preparation period now it's still dangerous. I want to make sure that's clear to everyone. Okay, cool. Well, we, we've actually got a little bit of a walkthrough video of how the whole rogue system, which people will be familiar with, but uh, what happens after that is very, very interesting. Uh, just before we queue up that video, to toggle on rogue, do you press up on the D-pad? Is that... Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's a right. press and hold, yes. Cool. Up on the D-pad, and I think PC is shift R by default, but you can map it to whatever you want. All right. Props yeah. to uh, Bound Diesel on Twitter who guessed that correctly. I saw that a little no, bit earlier. Nice one. All right. Yeah. So we're going to play this video right now. Um, we are running around the dark zone as it happens. Okay. So this is going to be, this, this first part again, like I said before, is going to be familiar to a lot of people, and we'll get into um, what happens after that. So our group's just gone rogue. Yeah, you have a moment now also to say, you get a message, someone in your group has gone rogue. Do you want to? You can now leave the group if you're like, no, F that. I don't want to go rogue. Here. I'm leaving. Okay. So we, you have that option. Yeah, we hope this makes you know, people do more pickup groups uh, yep. in the dark zone. That's cool. It'll be very interesting to see. Uh, all right. So are either of you guys playing in this, in this session here? Uh, no. no, we're... We would be much better than this. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. I mean, let's just be honest. <laughs> All right. Shots yeah. fired. Uh, about how but, big is the radius in which uh, players who aren't rogue can see that someone is going rogue? So it's it's kind of a uh, line of sight. Okay. So if someone is, you know, 100 meters down the street and they start going rogue, um, you are given a heads up on that. Okay. So what would happen if I was, like, around the other side of the building? Are people going to see... If you're around the other side of the building, uh, you, you know, you can try to conceal yourself a little bit, but they're still going to get the Isaac telling them someone went rogue. They're going to get all the existing signs and feedback, and they're also going to hear the uh, audio treatment to, hey, someone's going rogue around me right okay. now. Okay, so our players are currently Manhunt rank four, rank five now. Um, oh, so snap! Chad has already noticed there was no timer on the Manhunt. What's uh, oh, talk, a, yeah. talk us through this one a little bit. Yeah, that's correct. I mean, what... We wanted to get rid of the, uh, I'm just going to run out my timer, right? It's not about that. Now it's about going manhunt and then increasing your rank. You can stay manhunt as long as you want. Uh, if you get to max manhunt rank. Which is manhunt five. They just hit it right here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Then, you know, at any time you become manhunt, I'm jumping around a little bit, but just because of the video. Any t when you reach manhunt, you're going to get an objective. Yep. And it's like, if you want to, if you want your rewards, you need to go to this spot in the dark zone, it's random every time, and you need to interact to clear your status. You're essentially rebooting. Yeah, you're you know. kind of, you're hacking into those shade tech terminals mm -hmm. uh, that were sprinkled around the dark zone and resetting yourself. Uh, right, and so that timer, the, the duration of the timer, that's still all things we're playing with, but yep. it's based on numerous factors, like how many people are in your group, uh, what, what manhunt rank are you, and yep. you know, it's, and it's about the people in the world trying to stop you from clearing your status at this particular location. Because what's really important is that, you know, before you, you know, as a non-rogue, you would open up your mega map, you would see the flashes of rogues nearby. If someone got pretty close to you, maybe you'd get a notification on the mission tracker. Now, if someone hits manhunt, you get almost like an objective to go stop them if you want, right? Mm -hmm. You're not told exactly where they're going, but you kind of get a general area that they're trying to head. So if you're in a group and you're like wanting to hunt rogues, you can kind of rally up and go try to stop them. And it kind of creates these clashes. And like we got, we're talking about in the beginning, 
creates actual loops for players in the dark zone. Yeah. Awesome. You don't. We're not. We're not forcing you to clear your manhunt. Uh, you don't. There's no timer to fail it. You know. You don't have to get up there in two minutes. It's just, hey, here's where you need to go, and everyone can see it. And mm -hmm. if you want the rewards, you, I'm sure you guys saw on the screen, like. Yeah. Manhunt caches, which are <laughs> exactly awesome. yeah. So that's the um, thing that I saw. I saw chat going crazy over that huge slew of of manhunt caches that dropped uh, with a successful manhunt five clear. That's um, correct. You get you get one manhunt cache for every uh, every manhunt rank that you have reached. Mm -hmm. That's cool. What what can players expect from those caches? The best. I mean, that's it's the gear that they want. You know, it's it's okay. a it's a it's a Gear cache. There's a chance for exotic. There's a chance, you know, a chance for classifieds. Okay. Yes. Yep. And so the the buffer you are, the more manhunty, right? The more chances you you have to to get the gear that you want. And as a player, you know, going after the manhunt, um, you get a bounty cache now too for every manhunt player you kill. So you are encouraged to like get in there and PVP at these points if you want to get those rewards. Yep. Awesome. So so who will be eligible for those? Those rewards, like if I if I see a bunch of people on the map have gone manhunt, right? Uh, yeah. How much involvement do I need to have in taking out those guys before I get rewarded? Participation. Okay. Yeah, you need to be participating, and you need to kind of be be around them when they when they go down. Okay. You need to be there for the kill. Yeah. Okay. 